Hallelujah! Good morning! I welcome you in Jesus' mighty name. Today is July the 17th and I'll be sharing a message from our man of God, Pastor Chris Oyakilome, entitled, Ministering in the Sanctuary. Our opening scripture is from the book of Hebrews chapter 9 verse 2 and I read, For there was a tabernacle made, the first, wherein was the candlestick and the table, and the showbread, which is called the sanctuary. In the Old Testament, from the instructions God gave to Aaron in Exodus chapter 30, verses 7 to 8, we observe the ministry of the priest in the sanctuary. He said that the lamps must be perpetually on, and when lighting them in the evening and in the morning, he must burn incense. These were very specific instructions concerning the priest's ministry in the sanctuary under the Old Testament. Now, reading our theme verse in the New International Version, it says, A tabernacle was set up. In its first room were the lampstand, the table, and the consecrated bread. This was called the holy place. In that sanctuary, we've got three things. The bread which is the table of showbread, the candlestick, which is the menorah, and just before the veil was the altar of incense. These were the three articles of furniture in the holy place. How does this apply to us today? The bread is our study and meditation on the word. Recall that the showbread, which is also referred to as the bread of his presence, was eaten only by the priest. You may look up the book of Leviticus chapter 8 verse 31 and chapter 24 verse 8. And the Bible says we've been made kings and priests unto God. That's from the book of Revelation chapter 1 verse 6. We are the holy priesthood unto God. Therefore, we are qualified to eat the bread of His presence, which represents our meditation on the word. The second thing in that sanctuary every day was the lamp of the Spirit. God said to Aaron, When thou lightest the lamps, the seven lamps shall give light over against the candlestick. You may read that in the book of Numbers chapter 8 verse 2. This represents the seven spirits of God. And out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunderings and voices, and there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne which are the seven spirits of God. You may read that in the book of Revelation chapter 4 verse 5. This refers to the fullness of the Spirit, our fellowship and continual infilling of the Spirit. You are to maintain that fullness of the Spirit every day. Study Ephesians chapter 5 verses 18 to 21. It shows you how. The third thing in that sanctuary was the altar of incense which signifies the prayer ministry of the saints. Psalms chapter 141 verse 2 says, Let my prayer be set forth before thee as incense, and the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. This refers to our prayer of worship, praise, thanksgiving and intercession. Today, you are that sanctuary. And in that sanctuary, it's about these three things the Word, the Spirit, and prayer. Meditate on the Word every day. Be ever filled with the Spirit and pray always. Hallelujah! Now, wherever you are, kindly raise your hand and take this prayer right after me. Dear Father, thank you for the privilege of my ministry in your sanctuary. As I give myself to prayer, study, and meditation of the word being constantly filled with the spirit i win always your spirit is at work in me and i have ever increasing grace for ever increasing ministry in jesus name amen now for you to understand this message even better i recommend that you take some time to study these following scriptures from the book the book of Colossians chapter 3 verse 16 and the book of Ephesians chapter 5 verses 18 to 20. Hallelujah, glory be to God. Tune in again tomorrow for another powerful edition of Rhapsody of Realities. 
We trust you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying thus. O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him, and in His name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Hallelujah! Congratulations! You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tnimsia at gmail.com That's tnimsia at gmail.com We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.